Pixie Woo, the sun is shining and I'm in a really good mood. Oh, I wasn't in such a good mood because um, I got in and I just sat down to do my video and then Sam had taken the memory card to the um, camera so I was really annoyed because I was like, ah, oh, I've got to go and get a memory card. And then on my route, I saw these. Freedy Bow, shut up! How cute are they? Brought her her first pair of DMs. Oh, and I'm really pleased because Harry gets so much stuff because he's that little bit bigger and walking around and whatnot. She can't even walk and I bought her boots, what a, what a wally. But they were just too cute that I had to get them and then I had to show you. So today's video I'm going to do for you is going to be a trend makeup. Now everyone's been wearing those bright orange lip at the moment. It comes around every season pretty much, but this year it's more orange. It's been on the runways. Loads of celebrities have been wearing it. So I'm going to show you how I would wear it. Um, and I'm also going to do a nice full brow with it because that's still in fashion. Um, let me just crack on. I'm going to just tie my hair back. I'm just going to pop a little bit of oil item all over my skin. You can see I look a bit tanned at the moment, a bit orange, it's because um, I knew I was going to do this video and I've got nails, nails missing, uh, well not nails missing, colour missing, I knew I was going to do this video and I think it looks better, an orange lip looks better on someone with um, a more olivey toned skin or slightly tanned skin, whereas the slightly more boxy red, so the, um, the red with a bit more blue in looks gorgeous on people that are slightly paler and a bit more pink in their skin. So. I just put a bit of tan on. Right, I'm then going to take a little bit of this. This is my favourite thing, especially in the summer. Um, you all know, because I use it a lot in videos, it's Estee Lauder Daywear um, Sheer Tint. I love it. It's like a grey colour. I'm sure other people do them now as well. But when you put it on, it just evens out the skin tone a little bit. So great for those of you that go to the gym and just don't want to wear makeup but you want something to even out that looks like you've got nothing on because this is pretty much looks like nothing. You could say I've got nothing on and get away with it with this. Now I'm actually using this almost as a primer. So people say you don't ever use primer. That's because my skin is super dry so it doesn't need it. But it does need a good moisturise and I find that this works beautifully. And it means I can wear a slightly lighter coverage in foundation. I've brought in a few of my favourite foundations that I would use with this look. I've got MAC Face and Body. Gives a lovely light finish um, and just evens out the skin tone. It's not too heavy and still quite radiant. I've got Chanel Vitalumia because I just love it. Really, really glowing skin. So not for someone with any oiliness to their skin. Uh, for someone with quite dry skin. I think this is best, especially for more mature ladies. This is great for mature ladies too. Um, I have got Armani. This is just beautiful. I used this again the other day in a recent video. Was it Little Mix? I loved it. I forgot about it as well. Uh, that's the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And then um, we have got Skin Foundation by Bobbi Brown, which is a bit more coverage, slightly... Um, you can get away with this if you've got more combination skin. Don't have to be dry, whereas the others are probably better for a dry skin. I think I'm going to use Luminous Silk because it was so nice the other day. Right, I'm going to take a Real Techniques buffing brush and just work that into the skin. Well, I haven't used the buffing brush for ages because I've been using the Expert Face Brush. Oh, God, it feels nice, I forgot. Okay, so foundation all the way over the skin. Oh, let me just show you my jumper. Isn't that cute? It's Mickey Mouse. Or sweater. Sweater, as you might call it. Right, I'm going to come back and conceal the skin afterwards. I'm going to move straight onto the brows first. Right, what have I got? I've got a few different brow things here. Let's see what I will go for. I've got my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This one's in brunette. I'm going to use the spoolie on the end just to brush my brows through so they're all going in one direction huh? no I've got one direction songs going on in my mind right I'm then going to take my Shumure brow pencil I use this one because it's really really hard so it stays put really well um, and this one is in hard formula number nine um, 
hard nine and the colour is seal brown and I'm just going to run that over my brows make sure I take that through the top line of the brow as well so it make, that's where they're going to look thicker right so once I've got a nice, nice um, shape and colour I'm going to take my brow wiz again and just brush it through again but this time I don't know if you can see I have quite a few gaps under my brow there I'm going to use the brunette and I'm going to just run that really gently along where my brow should start so it kind of just creates a illusion that there's more hairs there than there are and then I'm going to take a little bit more just where this arch is just to make the arch a little bit stronger too and then don't forget these are annoying that these bits come off every time I pull the lid off stay don't forget to then brush it through again bit of hair. yeah don't forget to then brush it through again so it looks that little bit more natural then I'm going to take a little bit of um, Diego De La Palma. This is a brow gel. Loads of people do these brow gels. Now this one's in colour 12, Brow Fixer this one's called. I'm just going to run that through my brows and it will cling to the hairs. So making my brow look that bit thicker. and it will create the illusion that that is actually my brow. Does that make sense? Because it shows the brows coming up at the top. See that? And then if you're not quite happy with just that, you can then take yourself a um, cream concealer. This one is in a pencil. It is Bare by Smashbox. And just run that. Oh, why they started building? Just run that under the brow bone, you can take it up here as well if you want. And then take a little brush and just soften that. So there you have a nice full brow. Right, then onto the eyes. Now you can take a base eyeshadow if you want to, or you can leave them completely nude. I'm just going to run over with a little bit of um, Studio Fix powder. I'm just going to take that over the lid just to stop that creasing. Right, I'm then going to take a little bit of black liner. This one I'm keeping as an eyeshadow. And I'm just going to push that on the very corner here. This one can be used wet or dry. And this is just going to elongate my eyes slightly. but it's not giving me the liner right the way along. So it's just adding a little something, but it's really, really soft. I'm gonna take that just in this bit here too. If you want, you can take a little bit of black liner just on the inside waterline. just to make those lashes look a little bit thicker. See, it's so subtle, but it really does the job. I'm gonna take Black Magic uh, Mascara from I Ico. I'm gonna come back and do the bottoms right at the very end if it needs it. I'm gonna go in with my um, Smashbox liner on the bottom waterline just to lift that slightly right I'm going to go back in with concealer I'm going to take a little bit of this Estee Lauder double wear concealer in um, 3W mine with medium and it's a warm one I'm going to take my um, domed shadow brush And just push that over my blemishes, blemishes 
until they disappear. And then I have a slightly lighter colour that I'm going to put under my eyes. Just to lift them slightly. Take that right the way down the nose, like the side of the nose. Now I want to have a natural bronze glow, like I've just got a tan. So I'm going to take a little bit of Ico. This one is um, O2. I think it's got a little zip on it. And I'm going to take my uh, Duo Fibre brush for the face. I don't want a small brush, I want a reasonable size brush. This brush picks up less product, so that's why it's great for this, because you don't want to be too heavy handed. And that's just going to brush anywhere the sun would hit my face if I was sunbathing. So, top of the forehead, top of the cheeks, so we're not contouring with this, we're having a healthy glow. Top of the brow bone. great this brush because it doesn't pick up too much product down the nose even though I've just highlighted this is just going to add a little bit of colour so I've got a healthy glow now that's going to stay put it's also kind of powdered my makeup down a little bit as well my foundation because I don't tend to powder very often then I'm going to use a little bit of cream blusher this one is um, 410 uh, is the number and it's HD high definition blush and it's a cream blusher that's in a kind of, this is 410. I think I said all that twice, never mind. You know what I mean. I'm gonna use my finger just to softly pop that on the apples of the cheeks pulling upwards. So it gives me a nice, fresh, healthy glow. Right, now for the lip. I'll probably come back and put lashes on at the end, I see. Don't really need them, but if you wanted it to be really um, for a more night out one, then maybe put them on. I have a few lip liners here, quite a few, a few of them are MAC, this one is um, Illamasqua and it is feisty, uh, this one is Bote, Apple, I've got Genuine Orange, I have got um, Lasting Sensation, I've got Red and I have got a Blaze, now which one is most orange? Probably a Blaze and Genuine Orange obviously. Should we do it? Which do you think, guys? Should we go bright and then go over it with Genuine Orange? I'm going to use the Illamasqua one all over the lip. Change plan, it's a bit pink. Just wipe that off. Easy. Okay, I am going to use Lasting Sensation. And the new thing that I've started doing is I follow my lip but then I go across here straight because I love a cupid's bow but I feel like that makes my lips look a bit bigger now you can go for much lighter shades if you don't feel confident enough to wear a really really bright lip but what I would say guys is wear it around your house a little bit no one has to see you until you get a bit more used to it um, because I think Actually wearing it out is half the battle. I'm going to take my MAC Red just around this little outer bit here. Just in the corners. I'm going to put a touch of Genuine Orange in the middle. Won't be seen but it makes me happy. And then for a lipstick. Now there are so many um, orangey tones lipsticks. So we've got this one, which is Exhibitionist. I can't speak today. We've got Oval, which is beautiful. I love this colour. It's a bit more of a peachy. I used to wear, wear that a lot when I worked till in La Masca. We've got Ignite, which is very much like Lady Danger. Now I haven't gone for Lady Danger because I've used it so many times. I wanted to go more orange this time. We've got these bourgeois lip ones. If I can open it. Look, it has a great orangey tone there. Um, sleek. Look at that. So there's so many to choose from. I am going for um, OCC. And this one is Psycho. So I'm going to take my Real Techniques retractable lip brush. Pop some of that on it. Now 
minty. These OCC lipsticks are just amazing. Actually, Sam and I have so much new stuff in the office, we really should do a um, what we're loving video. I'll try and get her to do one with me. Favourites, that's the word. I have so many favourites though. Shall I mascara the bottom lashes? I'll do one, you can choose. I can't just do one, I have to do the other. But I actually don't know if it looked better before. So there you have how to wear the orange lip trend look. Probably no different to the makeup you normally wear, just put an orange lip with it. But I think um, less is more, so concentrate on the brows and the lips and just some nice mascara and um, a little bit of liner if you need it, just to accentuate the eye a bit. Hope you've enjoyed it guys, have a lovely day, evening, whatever you are doing, I can't wait to see you next week. Take care, bye.